it is the traveling Viking back again. Today, we're gonna go and check out what is the Peruvian village life, what it's like, what things are going on out in the countryside here in Peru. So we're going in this car here. It's kind of like the... Okay. So it's like the... Eso. Tú igual. Vives en Macaraña. ¿Qué recomiendas ver allá? Mm, hay siempre peso, lo turístico. Sí. Ajá. ¿Eso no es turístico? Ay, hay más adentro. Tío. Ah, ok. ¿Va a viajar? Sí, sí. Ah, a Huancarani. Sí. ¿Y qué recomiendas en Huancarani? ¿Qué ah, tengo que ver? Hay ruinas. Pues. Ruinas in, eh, de Incas. De Incas. Ah, ok. Have to blow the seat here. Yes, Aquí, aquí. So it's like these mini bosses leave when they're full type thing. There's no, there's no schedule to it. You just come here, say you want to go eight soles, which is what? It's like two dollars or something. That's very cheap. An hour travel. Got the window seat. Let's go to Wankarani. So. We've made it to Juan Carani. I must say I expected more light. This seems to be, we've got the little hospital, Centro de Salud, doctor of the town here. I must say, this seems to be a potential most dead village of Peru. There's one, two, three ladies or people walking on the streets. And nothing else really going on. <laughs> we did see a little, um, what you call it, little touristy kind of shops. Obviously, there's not really any tourists here at all. Um, so let's go and check that out at least. And then I think we will jump to another village pretty soon. Because, <laughs> yeah, not much going on here. But check these little Inca paintings that they have on the, on the houses here. The houses are all these little, very simple clay bricks. Must be cold here at night. ¿Qué hay para ver en Huancarani? Huancarani? Uh -huh. uh, bueno, el, el mercado que tiene sus artesanías. Artesanías en mercado allá. Uh -huh. oh, okay. Eso. Mayormente los domingos se lleva la feria grande. Ah, domingos ferias acá. Uh -huh. Porque no hay mucho vida. No hay pues. Sí. ¿Qué haces? Agricultero, más que toda la gente aquí. El trabajo, uh, la economía. Un poco de todo, sí. Un poco de todo. Porque veo mucho así de los. Chakras, sí. Eh, ¿Cómo se dice? Fields. En inglés. Mm, sí. Sí, sí, sí. Oh, ok. Voy a ver. Gracias. The local lady herself is recommending me to go and check out the, the little shops down there. So let's go. I need a cap because the sun is really strong here and I don't have any cab with me. So we've made it to the central square. Check out the little... There's a bunch of beautiful statues here. We've got another three guys with their ponchos over there. And we've got a jaguar and I think llamas or something over here as well. It's a music from the mayor playing music over the <laughs> central square. As you can see, it is pretty dead here. But check out the beautiful statues though. They're really cool. Ah, oh, it's deers, not, uh, not llamas. Let's go and find these uh, artifacts. That was the word I was looking for before. The artifact shops. A little, I don't know what this is supposed to be, like a ruin of some sort. Something Incan. This is obviously Inca headquarter area around Cusco. Most of the people here, their, their main language is Quechua, the Incan language, as opposed to as opposed to Spanish. Most of them, their second language here is, the, is Spanish. They talk in Quechua. It's a very, very different language. The old lady that was sitting behind me in the bus or in the car there was speaking Quechua, she barely understood it. She understands me, but I barely understood anything that she said, because she's mixing it with, with Quechua, her, 
her, her language when she speaks. <laughs> ¿Qué hay uh, para ver en la ciudad, en el pueblito? Las artesanías allá. Ah, sí. ah, okay. mercado, mercado, mercado. ¿Y qué hacen ustedes? ¿Qué es el trabajo acá? Comerciante, el el hombre hace su transporte de motocicletas. Transporte de traigo cosas. Cubis, trae cubis acá y. Ajá. Es muy agricultero aquí, ¿no? Más que todo. Ah, ok. ¿Y aquí en la tienda qué vende? Azúcar. Productos agrícolas. ¿Cómo? Fertilizante. Ah, fertilizante para los agricultores. Ah. ¿Y a propósito usted de qué parte? ¿De qué país? ¿Cómo? ¿De dónde es usted? De Dinamarca. Ah, Dinamarca. Danés. 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 Sí, sí, sí. ¿Y por acá qué hace? ¿Por acá o Dinamarca? Acá tenemos Dinamarca. 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 ¿Qué es esto? Es, una, es un pueblo. Es una comunidad. Es una población pequeña. Ah, ok. No, Dinamarca. Ah, ya. No es Dinamarca. No soy Inca. <risa> So there you have it, a bit more of an in-depth explanation of what life is here. Very much agricultural life. The saying further down here, and obviously I know because I saw them, these shops when we came in with the, with the car. Let's go, check it out, get a cap down there. So here we go, this beautiful Andean native clothes that they're wearing. Hola. Here's the male version. I think he's the boss here. Esa es como la ropa clásica de acá. Es de esta zona. Viene de la historia de los Incas. Hasta ese tiempo. Exactamente. Okay. Vendes gorra, cap. Se tenemos. Sombrero, como se dice. Necesito uno al sol muy fuerte acá. Exacto. Este es sombrero. Ah. <risa> ah, ok, no tiene algo con más. No, va, pero eh, eso no más tendría. Más grande, como exacto, para bloquear el sol. Exacto. Corra. No eh, tienes. Eh. ¿Otro tienda que tiene? No, los tres no más tenemos. ¿Ah? ¿Y qué más de acá? ¿Es como de alpaca? ¿O llama? Exactamente, lana de oveja, a cusquinita. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. ¿Y cuánto es este gorro? ¿Es Ajá. Uh -huh. 27. Todos los días atendemos, Fabi. Ok, sí, Ajá. sí, sí. ¿Viene mucho turista acá? No poco ven, viene. No parece que hay mucho. Ajá. No hay mucha venta. Exactamente. Bueno, te compro entonces. Okay. Uno, ¿puedo probar? We have one here, 27 soles. It's like $8 or something. So I think we can support them here, as he said. There's barely no, barely no tourism here, so we can support the guys here. What else do we have here? So they have big bags like these, basically similar to the one that I have, where I always have keep my wallet. What else do we have? Some bracelets. I don't know what this king is. Basically like a, a belt or something. These things here. Oh, and a vest. That's pretty cool. Then what else do we have over here? Then we have llamas to put on your shelf back home, key rings and some wallets down here. But I think, okay, let's see. <laughs> there we go, okay. It's like a bowler, a wooden bowler hat. Mm -hmm. ¿Y este? ¿Me agarras esto? Yeah. You could be cameraman. Think this one might be better. También está bonita, está bacán. Bueno, está. Ah, eso es mejor que el otro, creo. ¿No? Exacto, ajá. Este compramos. Yeah. We'll no viene mucho turismo. No, no, no. Un poco. Ajá, raras veces viene. ¿Y conoces el otro más abajo? Paucartambo. 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 Es un poco más grande, ¿no? Exacto, vale. Ahí voy a ir. Ya va. Después. Regresas, pues, regresas. Sí, sí. Estoy explorando los pueblos hoy día. Ya, ya, ya. Primero acá y luego de acá voy a allá a comer algo allá abajo en este pueblo. Adentro hay comidas también. Hay comidas aquí igual. Ah, okay. So, what do you say? It's like basically like a bowler hat, a woolen bowler hat. ¿Qué es oveja? Dijiste. Sí. It's a sheep, sheep wool. Okay. 
So equipped with a hat, we're into the other side. There seems to be a market. Again, I don't know why they built such a big market for nothing. <laughs> There's basically no business here. Hola. Well, let's see, they're selling a little bit of food over here. Chicharron, ¿qué hacer? Chicharron. Chicharron, de chancho. ¿A cuánto? 10 soles nomás. 10 soles. Sí. Ok. Dame hay cualquier. ¿Cómo? Cualquier leche. ¿Qué es esto? ¿Un bebida? Ajá. ¿De qué? De leche con cualquier y su chocolate. Leche cualquier. Ah, cualquier es galleta. Ah, ya. No, mejor chicharrón, creo. Hay nabo. ¿Cómo? Nabo hay. Nabo. ¿Qué es esto? Es saltado lisas. ¿Saltado de? Lisas. Risas. ¿Qué es esto? Uyuco. 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 ¿Qué es esto? Ahí está. Es, es, es Uyuco. Es, es Uyuco. Ah, es un tipo de papa. Ajá. Ajá. Ah. Eso lo hacen cuando lo cocinan comidita, lo hacen saltadito. Saltadito. Salteado. Saltadito de Uyuco o puede ser así. saltadito de lisas. ¿Con qué? ¿Con carne o solo así? Con carne, con, carne, con carne, papa frito. Oh, ok. Ajá. ¿A cuánto vale esto? Esto mejor, ya he probado yeah. chicharrón, yeah. hay en todos sí. lados chicharrón. Acá, 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 acá. ¿Cómo? Siete soles. Siete soles. Sí, sí, sí. Sí, sí, sí. Muy bien. ¿Cómo era el nombre? ¿Ucuco? 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 ¿Uyuco? Ok. Ah, lo tienes acá. So we're trying some kind of Andean potato. Obviously that is the main thing here. In the Andean mountains there's lots of potatoes. Arroz. Aquí tenemos. Nabito. Uh, ¿esto es el, el papa? Sí. ¿Con qué es? No, ¿Espinaca? No, no. ¿Qué es la hierba? Nabo, nabo. Nabo. Yuyo, yuyo. 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 <laughs> no sé qué es eso. Yuyo. Y luego aquí. Así, mira. Es como tipo guiso, Ajá. básicamente. Ah, sí. Ok. This is going to be interesting. Yeah. All right. ¿Y eso picante? Sí, picante esto, no, aquí. Aquí. Rocoto. Rocoto. Recoto, ¿no? Rocoto. 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 Ah, ok. Yeah. Ok. Chicharrón. Uh, esto, esto. Esto voy a probar. Chicharrón ya he probado mucho. Ah. Más eh, interesante probar las diferentes comidas de los lugares. Pasadizos, así... ¿Cómo? Pulseras. ¿Pulseras? Ajá. Ah, ¿Esto? Ajá. Para manilla. Ajá. Para manilla. Ajá. A ver, ¿qué tienes? Acá en... Na. Al frente, en la Ajá, tienda, sí, donde sí, he comprado sí. eso. Ajá. Compré esto. En... Sí, sí, sí. Ay. Compré esto en vez de eso. Compré a mí, alguien Más. de mi pie. Después, mu después me muestras. Ya, yeah, ya, yeah, ya. Yeah. <laughs> después me muestras. So the lady here is also an owner of one of these souvenir art crafts, artisan shops. Let's try this then. Interesting food here. I'm not quite sure what we're working with. ¿El carne qué es? ¿De vaca? Cerdo? No, de cordero. De cordero, ok. Lamb meat. All right. It's just as the. ¿Y qué son los vegetales? Vegetales es ese, yuyu haucha, que es el verdecito. Yuyu haucha. Vitamina A. Vitamina A. Todo, todo, todo. Todo. <laughs> Well, spirits are high here in the market. That's pretty nice. It's just basically, it has a texture of just like boiled um, spinach, broccoli, beans, that type of of taste. And then we got a lot of rice here as well. The rice is not more there just to fill. This is interesting. So obviously. Everything here is based around potatoes in this part of the world. That's pretty good. Very simple. Not the, not a lot of taste to it. I don't think they really use spices. I think they just 
cook it all, boil it all in one big pot together. And then the different ingredients will give the taste to it. Let's get the spicy thing on here as well. It's basically like pico de gallo in Mexico. Onions and chili and tomato. Mm. Bueno. Buenos. Mm -hmm. Rico está. Si? Mm. Very good. ¿Qué es esto? Aguita. Agua de? Hierba. Hierba. Uh -huh. Hierba, ¿qué? Hierba Luisa, algo así. Hierba Luisa. <laughs> Some kind of herb water here. Yeah, that's like Hierba Luisa. I think it's lemongrass, basically, is the, the closest thing. It has a, a taste like lemongrass, basically. And they make these, like, teas out of it. Pretty good. Es quechua. Sí. Lo que habla. Sí, quechua. ¿Cómo se dice? ¿Cómo se dice? Hola, ¿cómo estás? En quechua. Aliancho. 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 Cachenque. ¿Cómo era? ¿Y chancho? ¿Cómo? Cuchi. Cuchi. ¿Cómo estás? Kochukanikipa. <laughs> Something like that is how we say. Good day, how are you? En Quechua. ¿Y qué hace usted? ¿De transporte? Sí. Ah, ok. Asociación. ¿Cómo? Asociación. Asociación de transporte. ¿Aquí es solo en, en el pueblo? O para otros pueblos igual. Otros pueblos. Uh -huh. Otros pueblos. De acá salimos a otros pueblos. Uh -huh. De ahí también recogemos de esos pueblos hacia acá. Ese es el más grande en, el, en, en esa área. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Ok. Sí. ¿Y por qué tan grande el mercado? Y casi no hay. Ahí, no está lleno, ni se está lleno. A la feria dominical. Uh -huh. Feria dominical mayor ya viene. Ahí está lleno. Ah, ahí está lleno. Ah, oh, okay. La particular. Sí. What the other guy was telling me. Uh, On Sunday, domingo. Ajá. Uh -huh. On Sunday, there's a big market here. And then this whole market building is full. But as you can see uh -huh. now, it's virtually empty. There's like five, six, seven ladies here selling food and some other stuff. No le entiendo eso. Es como un quechua. <laughs> para mí. Claro, para usted. Bueno, lunch is done. That was an interesting food. Check this out. There's a hairdressers here, but there's no one here. It just says here, call this number. So now you know, if you're in Wankarani and you need a haircut, call that number. And I guess the, the man or the woman, the hairdresser, will come and cut your hair. Speaking of that, I had my hair cut yesterday. I see you guys calling me Holland in the comments. So I had to, <laughs> had to cut the hair off. Now you can't call me Holland anymore. Holland will, the Holland hair will be back though in about half a year. All right. We'll go back towards the central area of the town here, a bit further around the corner, and we will find another shared taxi minibus thing to go to the next village further down the valley called Paucartambo. So, we found transport to Paucartambo. I thought there was, which is the next village down the valley. I thought there was buses, mini buses going. I guess I better keep this on. Hopefully it's gonna stay on. But yeah, I thought there was this kind of mini bus taxi thing, shared taxi going there as well. But apparently no. So we're gonna go in this one. Could I bought my wind slash rain jacket here? Because ooh, it is chilly. But the upside is a much more fun ride. I've been some years.
Todos. ¿Cómo es tu nombre? Fran. ¿Fran? Ajá. Ok. Fran es el driver. ¿Cuánto tiempo para llegar? 40 minutos, 40 minutos, he dice. So, I will film some of the views for you, and I'll see you once we get to Pau Cartambo. Let's go. Check out this view. We've made a little pit stop. The motorbike is over there. We're headed down this valley. But right here is a an Incan ruin, an old Incan village called Nina Marca. That was one of those guys that we spoke to in the city, or in the village. Um, but he was talking about <laughs> if I was from Nina Marca or Dinamarca, because obviously it sounds a lot like Denmark when you say it in Spanish, Dinamarca. It's all these old reminiscence of houses, the bigger houses here and then we have those smaller houses down there that are I imagine up here where you can sort of get an idea that this would have been a bigger a bigger house up here it's probably the the leader of the village would be would be living here on the hills down he would have the the people of the village would live down there you see down here there's some platforms of houses as well my god the altitude makes it hard to walk around and talk at the same time but yeah, there's like a little village on this mountain here behind me and all the way over there to that mountain over there basically located right on the peak and here we go here we have more of a another platform of a house maybe a little kitchen you could imagine that being there over there in that section would be a, a fire pit and yeah those that are up here are bigger than the than the ones further down here you see another one this is a platform so we have one part of the house over here and over here another part of the house but then you can see kind of here sort of like a, a wall that we're coming through there it's like up there would be the bigger houses and then down here would just be these small houses like this one check it out inside very very small with some clay on the on the sides obviously these are reconstructed you see more of them down there and again what a spectacular view okay so we've made it to Pau Cartambo and it is nice and warm here as you can see up behind the plaza here we have all the mountains so we're down right in the valley there's a river down there I saw coming in so now we're gonna go ahead and spend a couple hours exploring this little village here hopefully find a drink maybe find something to eat here as well hola jardines haces diseño de eso tú haces todos los plazas en la ciudad Sí, así. Oh, okay. Es muy lindo. Sí, Haces está. un buen trabajo. Sí, está bien. Sí. Sí. Gracias. ¿Qué parte voy? ¿Dónde hay más vida? ¿Esta dirección o esta dirección? A esta dirección. Ah, ok. Gracias. So I'll go that way. As the gardener is telling me, he's telling me that way. Over here, we've got a church here as well. A beautiful fountain here with a Incan warrior or something. It's a priest. It's got a cross on it. Not an Incan warrior. More so, the priest is part of the organization that killed the Incan civilizations. But yeah, check it out. It's all white here in the center of this town. 
It's beautiful. It's like a, a village version of Arequipa. <laughs> Let's go and explore what we can find here. Ah, para postres. Sí. Ah, yeah. Mira. <laughs> ¿No tienes otra fruta? Hay que palta. Palta, tal vez. ¿Cuánto vale? ¿Un, un sol? Sí. ¿Cada uno? Cada uno. Ok. Eh, Plátano. No, palta es más útil. Eso es cómodo. Todos desayuno. Ajá. Eh, dame dos, tres. Tres. Cinco. Tres. Suficiente. Ya. Solo me queda un día más. Ya. Ah, ya. Puedo hacer guacamole o algo así. Ya. Gracias. Hi Kenji. ¿Ah? Hi Kenji. Hi Kenji. Hi Kenji. ¿Qué es eso? Hi Kenji. Hi Kenji. ¿Y qué tienes más aquí? Tienda. She's got her kiosk here. Drink. Coca Cola. Sí. Pero pequeño, no así. Sí, sí, sí. sí. ¿Tiene? Ah, uh, here we go. The little uh -huh. cokes and that. You might get a soft drink as well. Just to make sure the stomach don't go bad after that food we ate there <laughs> in the previous. Yeah. ¿Cuánto tres, es? Tres soles. ¿Cómo? Tres soles y tres soles, seis soles. Seis soles, sí. Cuatro soles, Berto. Cuatro soles de cambio. Yeah, papacito, gracias. Perfecto. Papá. Gracias. gracias. Papá, gracias. All right, so yeah, we got ourselves some avocados, three avocados with three soles. That is well cheap. Okay, it's not the biggest ones, but still, completely fresh to eat. I can make some guacamole or something when I get back home to Cusco tonight. Three soles is like, it's about, it's about, it's less than a dollar. Less than a dollar for three avocados. Take that. Wow, look at this. Something for the World Cup. And uh, a local Indian, Inca. Not much going on in this little village either. It's slightly bigger than the, than the other one that we were in Huancarani. It's a bit more, has a bit more to it, but still pretty chill. But we'll keep exploring, see what we can find. We're gonna go down and see that river as well, but first we gotta walk around in here within the town itself. This is how they live. These little basically alleyways and very small houses. They're all basically <laughs> none of the walls are straight. They're all kind of crooked a bit and, and so on. Now, we've come to the river. Check this out. Doesn't this just look wonderful? Absolutely lovely with the white houses on each side, that rock bridge over there, solid rock bridge. It looks like so picturesque. It's stunning. Let's check the view on the other side as well. So it seems we've come from Peru's most, most dead village to potentially Peru's most beautiful village with these old houses everything white with this river running through that's stunning and there's some kind of Incan ruin I think that is that if you see on, on top there there's a, like a statue and there's some things I think we're gonna go and check that out as well I think we can go through over here with the ladies are selling Something. I think they're selling herbs. ¿Qué están vendiendo? ¿Qué es esto? Cebada. Cebada. Uh -huh. ah, ¿Para qué? Para cuy. Todo eso se llena en el cuy, ¿o cómo? Sí, cuy. Para darle sabor sí. o para darle para comer. Sí, para comer. Ah, ok. ¿Y cómo se prepara? No es así, pero no le das a los cuy. Y, sí, pero para comer. Matas al cuy. <laughs> sí, pero no tiene algo adentro así de hierbas. Eh, eh, guacatay. Guacatay. Ah, yeah. ok. Eso es solo para comer. Para el cuy. Sí. Sí. Ah, alimento. Ok. 
Muy bien. Gracias. So Kui is that little like guinea pig is what it's called in English. What we ate in, in Ecuador, we had it for, for dinner there with, uh, what's his name, Cesar's uh, mom. It was good. <laughs> A classic thing to cook in the Andean mountains. Both Peru and Bolivia. Let's see what they have over here. ¿Qué es esto? Lechón. 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 Mm. ¿Cómo se sirve? ¿Le doy? Eh, ¿A cuánto es? 10 soles. 10 soles. ¿Y cómo sirve? ¿Con, con papa o solo? O con, ¿Con choclo? Mote, te puede dar 11 con mote. Ah, el mote. Maíz, pues, maíz. Sí, sí, sí. Sí, sí, sí. No, no me gusta mucho. Sin, pan. sin mote. Entonces, pancito te compras. Pan. Ok. Mejor. Sí, sí, sí. Por favor. Lechón. Let's see how Peruvian lechón is compared to Bolivian lechón. Let's check this. Pulpa. Sin huesos, ¿no? Algo así como esto. Check that out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Muy bien. Algo así. Sin mucho hueso. Let's try this. Y con pan dices que se come. Pan, de adentro te come. Un pan nomás. Compro pan adentro. Ah, ok. Ok. Let's do that. Aquí hay 10 para ti, ¿no? Dijiste. Sí. Aquí tienes. ¿Es cocido al horno o al fuego? Al horno. Horno, horno. Ok. Perfecto. Gracias. A usted. So we got our pork, then we need bread. Pan, me dijo. <laughs> ¿Cuánto? Un pan, me dijo que tengo que comprar para comer esto. Dos panes, porque te llenes. Uno es suficiente. Sí, creo. sí. sí. Uno, que, uno de los más grandes, ¿no? Así. Como este tamaño está bien. Sí, sí, sí. ¿Cuánto vale? 50 centavos. 50 centavos, ok. Perfecto. ¿Cómo? <risa> quechua. ¿Qué es? ¿Cómo se dice gracias en quechua? ¿Cómo? <risa> Un pisuncuy. Eso es gracias. <risa> Aney. Aney. Ok. Aney. <risa> gracias. So yeah, like you can see, literally everyone here speaks more Quechua than, than Spanish. Now let's go and find somewhere to sit and eat our lechón, our pork, with the bread here. I'm looking forward to see what Peruvian lechón is going to be like compared to, compared to Bolivian lechón. This is made over there, in the oven, so already there we have a difference. Check out the view again. That was the bridge we were on just before. Now we're on this wooden bridge here. Up to the mountains. Stunning. I think I'm gonna go down there next to the river. Take a seat and have a go at my at my lechon thing here. Let's go. Okay. So I come down to the river here. And we're ready to give it a go. This lechon. Peruvian lechon. Let's try it. Let's try the main piece here. Mmm. Decent to that crunch. That's really nice. Look at it. Mmm. Just rips apart ever so beautifully. And then we got a little bread thing here as well. Honestly, if you're asking me, the bread is not even that necessary. Like, why would you take away from the beauty of well-cooked pork by putting it in bread? That just takes away the taste. Unless you have like 
full on like avocados, which I actually did buy as, you, as we know. But like if you have like full on with tomatoes and avocado and onion and lots of dressings and so on, then you might have a go at it. But I honestly, I much prefer just to eat the meat like this. Mm. Very greasy as well. Spectacular. I'll sit here and eat my eat my pork and then we'll enjoy the view as you see over here. We have the we have the river over there is that bridge. And up there is that viewpoint. I thought it was I thought it was some ruins as well, but it's actually just a viewpoint. I think we'll go up there as a finalizer for the video and today. But first I'll sit here and enjoy my beautiful Lichun and we'll take it from there. Whew. I think I might have to give this video the title Watch a white man struggle walking and talking in altitudes of Peru. Oh, we made it to the top of this viewpoint here overlooking all of Puacartambo. Puacartambo. That name is a difficult name to say, but check out the view here. Absolutely stunning. All the way through the valley here. This town nestled in the valley. Some young kids having football per practice over there, football training. And it keeps going. If you keep going with this valley all the way in, you will eventually hit the Amazon jungles. Whew. But yeah. Man, it's a struggle to walk in these altitudes. We've got a big statue there behind me, as you can see. And a beautiful, beautiful view. With this view, I think we're gonna end the video here. Thank you very much for watching. Give it a like if you liked, if you liked the video. I certainly enjoyed it. It was fun walking around, exploring the rural, real Peru, the farmer's country of Peru. It's kind of funny as well, like going here, coming to these places where there's no tourists, but they still have the touristy setup of these kind of viewpoints, those shops, not in this town but they're in this town as well. But those shops in Wankarani, the first village that we were in, it's much more enjoyable if you watch, if you ask me, than going to Pisac, which is the other, which is on the other village, or the other, on the other valley, what they call the Sacred Valley. Here, it's just a stunning, and no one is, Asking you to buy stuff all the time. Buy, 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 buy me, buy this, buy that, buy this special price for you, my friend. Here you can just chill, talk to the locals. They're really, really nice as well. All the Peruvians are so lovely people. Yeah, I think that's me. I'll catch my breath. And I'm out. See you when I see you.